Will Harry and Meghan name royal baby after his mother? Diana is clear favorite among the bookies followed by Alice, Elizabeth, Arthur, and Edward. As the UK wakes up to the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expecting their first child, there is already fevered excitement as to what the pair will call their firstborn. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first child, expected in spring 2019, will be seventh in line to the throne. Bookmakers have already revealed the odds on the Queen's eight great-grandchild will be called, with Victoria, Albert and Arthur among the favorites. Diana, Victoria and Alexander are all among the early favorites at the bookmakers. Patty Power has Diana at 8-1 with many believing Harry and Meghan will pick this for a girl in tribute to the Duke's late mother Diana, Princess of Wales. William Hill has Alexander as its favorite at 7-1, while Ladbroke said Victoria, the name of the nation's second longest reigning monarch, is its favorite at 8-1. The baby will be born into the British royal family, where tradition is an intrinsic part of the Windsor's lives. As such, bookmakers predict names including Alice, Mary, Elizabeth or Victoria for a girl, and Philip, Frederick, Charles, Arthur, Edward or James for a boy are possibilities. But the pair are also forward-thinking royals, and the Duchess has her own American upbringing to draw upon. They may therefore decide to surprise everyone when naming their first child. In the U.S., the most popular name for a baby girl is Emma and Liam for a baby boy. In the U.K., the most popular name for a girl born in 2017 was Olivia, and for a boy Oliver. Meghan may even seek inspiration from her friends. Her confidant and stylist Jessica Moroni has twin boys Brian and John, and a daughter Isabel Veronica, who is known as Ivy, who were page boys and bridesmaid at the royal wedding. Other bridesmaids included Rylan and Ramy Litt, the daughters of Meghan's close friend Benita Litt, and Harry's goddaughter. The youngest bridesmaid, Zaley Warren, Harry and Meghan's royal baby, who will be seventh in line, is extremely unlikely ever to be king or queen, meaning the couple have more freedom with their choices. One option, considered a favorite for a girl, is Diana in honor of Harry's late beloved mother. William and Kate paid tribute to Diana, Princess of Wales in 2015 by choosing it as one of Charlotte's middle names. Harry, who adored Diana was just 12 when the princess was killed suddenly in a car crash in Paris in 1997. Charles would honor Harry's father, while Elizabeth, another of Charlotte's middle names, would be out of respect for Harry's grandmother the Queen. Meghan's mother, to whom she is close, is called Doria, and the ex suit star may want to pay tribute to her as well. Thomas is a popular family name for the Duchess. Her father is Thomas Markle, as is her half-brother. But relations with her relatives have proved troublesome following her father's absence from her wedding, his comments to the press, and the lack of invites extended to the rest of the family. Rupert Adams, spokesman for William Hill, said, We took eight bets in the first minute today, and given the popularity of the couple this could be bigger than the original market we had for Prince George. A Patty Power spokesman said Diana was the firm's clear favorite. Diana is an obvious favorite with our punters so far, and it wouldn't be the first tribute the couple have paid to the late princess, while Arthur and Alice have been popular picks too, a spokesman said. Jessica Bridge of Ladbroke said, given this child will be in line to the throne. It's probably a safe assumption that the couple will opt for a regal name that has been used in the royal family over the generations. However, with Meghan's USA roots it would be remiss of bookmakers to rule out an American moniker featuring somewhere. Meghan has written about the significance of choosing names within her own family. She told how her great-great-great-grandfather went on to create his own identity when freed from slavery. Because in 1865, which is so shatteringly recent, when slavery was abolished in the United States, former slaves had to choose a name. A surname, to be exact, she wrote. Perhaps the closest thing to connecting me to my ever-complex family tree, my longing to know where I come from, and the commonality that links me to my bloodline, is the choice that my great-great-great-grandfather made to start anew. He chose the last name Wisdom.